Hello, I am Pete, and welcome back to Yakuza Zero. We met up with Mr. Moneybags in that bar at the end of the previous episode, and I kind of want to get back over to my office over here and do a business. So I'm going to take the taxi on this occasion, I think. Oh, that's Mr. Mr. Pervert again. Let's talk to Mr. Pervert. Wow, that's funky, but maybe a little expensive. You, what are you doing here? Yo, buddy, what's it look like? I'm doing a little window shopping. Would you look at all the toys they have for guys now? Mm. Toys for guys? Oh, right. Those things. So, uh, you tried them? Mm. Oh, you're interested? I'm an expert. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Forget I asked. <laughs> don't be so bashful. I'll give you my detailed review next time then. Okay. Anyway, are you getting any lately? That's not what I'm here for. Not everyone's like you. You kidding? Then what are you doing in Camarocho, the land of sexy ladies? Is it? Duh. Let's see. For example, there's a girl who dances at Maharaja. She's fabulous in an ocean of wonderful. I go to the disco just to chat her up. Mm. Maybe I'll look for her if I feel like it. <laughs> what wouldn't I give to get my hands on a video of a girl like her? I'd keep it under lock and key and treasure it forever. And ever. And ever. That was a edifying conversation. Right, I want to take a taxi. It looks like I'm going to have to fight my way through these dorks to get to it. Let's, um... A bit of brawler mode, maybe? Anyone I can knock while they're down? This one. That did a healthy amount of damage. What about the other guy? Is he still down? <laughs> I'm going to take him for another one. No mercy from me. Okay, where's fighter balls? Here, you want fighting. I feel like I might pick up a tree. Ah, oh, Mr. Chunky knocked the tree out of my hand. Oh, okay, I want to get my tree back. Give me my tree back. Ha ha ha. Come here. Oh, that was a pretty unrelenting combo. I'm going to pick up a bicycle. Bicycle special move. Oh! Wonderful. Well worth the two million, I think, there. Believe it, buddy -o. You two were just watching, were you? You like a bit of that, do you? Yeah, be on your way. Yeah, let's take a cab. Taxi fare starts at 470. Yep, I can afford that. I think I want to go down here. That seems to be the one that's closest to my office. Very well, sir. Lovely. How's my health looking? Uh, this is a good opportunity actually to drop into Sushi Jin and buy some more food. Because the more often I can drop into here, the better. Because it will get my friendship up with the chef. Welcome. What would you like today? Definitely order. What can I get you? There's uh, something that's going to max me out. I've had Engawa before. Let's have some Nama Taco today for a change. This is good. Um, are you sure my sushi is good enough? Please be honest with me. You're doubting yourself again? Well, yes. I wouldn't be coming here if it wasn't good. Why can't you accept the fact that you're good at this? But I'm not. I only know the basics. There are many kinds of fish I've never even had the chance to prepare myself. If I only had the time and skill, I'd get out there with a rod and lure and get fresh fish to work with. Ooh, fishing quest! Mm. I go fishing every once in a while. Wouldn't say I'm particularly good at it, though. Hold on. You fish? Really? Mm. I just do it once in a while for fun. I did it once. Plus, you get fresh fish you can't find in markets. Mm. Are you okay? I do realise this is a big favour to ask, but... Do you think you could bring me some of the fish you catch? No, no. That's a strange thing to ask a customer. Mm. I know, but I really need this. I'll never become a respectable sushi chef without a lot more experience preparing and serving a variety of fish. Mm. Not only that, but I've never really worked with fish that's just been caught, so I could really use your help. Freshly caught fish is completely different than what you can find at the market. I think working with that would help me improve my skills faster. Mm. I can see where you're coming from. Please, whenever you can, is fine. Please just bring me fish whenever's best for you. In return, once I prepare whatever you bring me, you can eat it for free. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Uh. 
All right, I'll see if I can get something for you next time I go fishing. No guarantees, though. Yeah. I understand. That's perfectly fine. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know your name, I'm afraid. I'm Ginji, by the way. I'm Kiryu. No need to thank me just yet. You can now bring Ginji fish and he'll make it into sushi for you. Now, this is then the point at which I want to check my inventory to see if I've been carrying some fish around in my pocket for the last few weeks. Inventory. It's not a component. It's not a valuable. Maybe I had some fish, but I sold it. I'm sure I caught some fish as Kiryu. Maybe it just went off. Maybe I put it in a phone box. Okay, there's a phone box nearby. I can try that out. So that's just... Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a save point. I can save the game, use the item box, add pay phones. Item box. Is there fish? Yeah, there's, there's a goby that's in here. Is that the only fish I caught? Apparently so. Okay. Let's take the goby out. And let's go straight back to Sushi Jin and see if he's interested. Hello, Kiryu-san. What would you like today? Give fish. Oh, you brought me some fish. Is it fresh? Terrific. What kind of fish is it? What should I hand over? A goby. How about this one? Perfect. This will really help me. I'll prepare it right away. How is it, Kiryu-san? It's good. Really? Thank you. I feel like working with fresh caught fish like this really helped me grow. <laughs> Glad I could help. I really appreciate it. If you go fishing again, please bring me your catch. Gave us a little friendship boost. Lovely. Okay, so yeah, at some point I'm going to want to go fishing to get more fish that I can then keep in my, in my phone booth for a few months before serving it up as fresh, in inverted quotes. Lovely. Right, yeah, I want to do a business, so let's... Let's head up here, keep our eye out for people who would want to scrap. Not seeing any suspicious looking animals ahead. And there's no one stood in the street outside the office. Let's go in. Well, I wonder if my... I, I did write a postcard a couple of episodes back. Let's check the radio. It's on. How are you doing, everybody? It's showtime. I'm your host, Dolce Camilla. As always, we kick off the show with shout-outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Here's Dolce Camilla's Dolce the Postcard. Come on, Dolce, read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. Today's featured postcard is from our listener, Judgment Kazikun. Yay! Hello, Dolce Camilla-san. Hello! I love your show, regular listener. Thank you! I can't mention any names, but I met a miraculous global superstar the other day. A global superstar? Could he be the one? Being around this person, I understood why they were a superstar. It was like they had this aura around them. <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge fan myself. I somehow ended up helping out on the superstar's video shoot and appeared as an extra. Are you serious? Even I'm envious of you, Kazikun. P.S. The entertainment industry is a tough place. Whoa. Judgment, Kazikun san, that's just amazing. You may have been vague about the name of this miracle superstar, but I think I got your number. It sounds like you already got a lesson on how savage the entertainment world can be, Judgment Kazikun. All I can say is, don't stop until you've had enough. Woo! That's the second time Judgment Kazikun has had a postcard featured on the show. If you get on air three times, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Keep your postcards coming, listeners. Oh, it's time already. Too bad. Too sad. But that's our show for today, folks. All right, then. Make sure to tune in again. Goodbye, and see you next time. Another one of my postcards got on the air. All right. I got on air. Mr. President, is something the matter? Uh, yeah? I mean, no. It's, uh, nothing. Fantastic. I should write in the postcard, but first let's do a little bit of business. Uh, the payout is ready, 36 million. Uh, do that. Fantastic. And so now... Oh, a money battle. Um, I think I should just let the manager take it for a while. Victory, you protected your properties. And we're up to 88%. Yeah, I think with the money battles, you don't want to start putting money in until your manager starts to struggle. Okay. 
let's do a little bit of management of this area. So this one's already an S. We got lots of money to invest. So let's go crazy Keo. Get this place up to a medium A. Fantastic. Camarosa Health Palaza. Do we have anyone with two circles? We don't. Okay, Mama San's probably a good choice then. Uh, that one's already an S. Gnocchi Gnocchi Academy. Again, we don't have anyone with double circles, so let's go, Mama San. Oh, nearly up to an S. Health Wild Apple. This is a new one, so we don't have much in this at the moment. And again, Mama San costs the most, but gives us the biggest boost. Nice, up to a high C. Harashima Design. We have a double circle, Masochistic Man. That should get us up to an A, maybe? Nah, not quite. And this place, we can use Mama San. That should... Yeah, that should easily get us up to an S. Lovely. Uh, this place, no double circle. The best person is this person who's very cheap. This one's going to be very slow to improve, I think. All right. That's very healthy. Okay, so let's... Let's start a collection. Uh, we need to change who's assigned to this. So this guy's now down to three, three stars. Um, but he's probably still the best bet. I suppose I could switch out to Sachiko, and that, that gives Spining a chance to recover. Yeah, let's do that. And then what we got here for security? Anyone in the positive? No, it's all zeros again. So this guy, his problem-solving star is empty, which makes me think that we should let him have a break. This person, minus two though. Is it better to have four stars and a minus two or a one star and a minus one? No one knows. Let's let's go with this one. So yeah, our safety on this run is going to be a little bit worse. Our share is 98% of this area. Like, that's fantastic. Okay, let's start a collection. Quite cheap salaries this time around. All right, so now we play the waiting game. Mr. President, what's going on? The Leisure King's men came by and left this. What's this? It looks like a challenge. Please don't be karaoke again. He says he's waiting for you on his turf. His turf? Mm. Knowing him, I'd reckon he's trying to settle this through violence. It's a trap. I wouldn't go if I were you. Yeah. No, I'm going. If he wants to use violence to settle things, that's fine by me. Yeah. What? Um, well, please be careful. The Leisure King's turf is the empty area behind Serena. I should get ready before I go. You've received an open challenge. Uh, my property's revenue collection will stop. Okay, so I've got to defeat him to get me business back on the road. I will write a postcard first. If I had two, I had two postcards read on the radio so far. One more to win that deluxe million yen prize. I just need a story that'll make it on air. What should I write in now? It needs to be a topic Dolce Camilla would want to read on air. Hmm. I think the story about buying a filthy magazine for a kid is exactly what the world needs. I'll write about buying a shrink-wrapped adult magazine from a vending machine for that kid. Now let's see. There. Oi. Uh, usual Hi. thing where I tell Marina not to read it. Oh no, this is slightly different actually. You're finally putting yourself out there, Mr. President. Huh? Just don't read it, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I hope they choose my postcard again. Better tune in to Dolce Camilla's next radio show and check. Yeah, I skipped through that dialogue because so I thought it would be the same as it always is, but it seems to have been slightly different this time. Right, there's nothing more we can do in here. So I think we have a couple of... Am I pointing the right way? This way. I think we probably have... Yeah, we kind of have two options. So the main story is taking us into Serena, and the um, real estate guy wants to fight us behind Serena... So I could do one of those. Or what I could do is I could do some pocket circuit racing, which is absolutely unrelated to any of those things. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to do that. 
So what I want to do is I want to go to the um, the Don Quixote store because I think they sell a battery. I also should do some fishing at some point. I'm accumulating quite a nice little to-do list, aren't I? Yeah, let's drop in here. Yeah, I think the high-speed battery is worth having. I'm going to go with that. Oop. That. 500 yen. There you go, sir. Please come again. All right, let's leave. And then I'm going to get to the nearest taxi rank, which is just down here. These three idiots stood there waving for a taxi. Don't they know that there's a taxi just parked right up here? What are they playing at? Very busy. 10,000. Yeah, I'll pay it. And the place I want to go to is this one just here. Very well, sir. Okay, and this is where we go in for the pocket circuit. So what's my next race? Um, I want to... Hmm, I don't want to pay the money yet. I've lost track of which ones I've done. Let's quit out of this. Um, let's firstly just go over to the shop. Was the shop over there or was it over here? I feel like it was down this end. See if anything new's come in. Selling slot car parts here. Maybe I'll check it out. Welcome. This is what we have in stock. Okay, so I think... Yeah, I've probably got most of these. I think it's each time I win a race that their stock improves, and I don't think I won a race last time I was here. Or if I did, I then immediately bought some stuff. Right, let's talk to Pocket Circuit Fighter. I'm going to enter a race. So let me see. So I've, yeah, so Little Racers Cup is the next one for me to enter because I've won the introductory race. So let's go into Little Racers Cup and let's... Can I customise in here? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay, so what tyres have I got? Slim tyres plus are the best ones. That's good. For the frame, balanced or rocket flame frame plus. This one's got a much better cornering. So let's switch to that. For the motor, we've got our new high torque motor, which cost us five. That, I think, will be an absolute game changer. For the gears, what's going to do well? Power gears or balanced gears? Balanced gears seems to give me an increase in speed, but a decrease in acceleration. So let's try the power gears. For the battery, we've got this high speed battery, which we've just purchased. Lovely. Good for short races. Uh, decal can't change. Color don't want to change. Okay, let's race. The key to this course will be power and speed. Zoom through it with confidence. Come on, new battery. Come on, new motor. The challenger is undefeated in his hometown. Will the flawless record continue in Kamarocho? Our remarkable Kazuma Kun is in the green lane. Is everyone on standby? Don't hit a late start. Everyone to their places. That's gone pretty well. I'm going to hold off on the boost. Now my concern is that I can't remember what the button is to stabilise if the car starts to go weird on a corner. I think, yeah, I think I'm maintaining a lead, so I'm not going to take any risks and use the boost at this time. And I think I'm actually pulling out a bit of a lead, uh, and sort of increasing my lead. So that's great. On to the final lap. Yeah, those upgrades I bought were definitely well worth it. They have changed everything. Goal! A magnificent first place. Strong as ever. Okay. Victory! That was some thrilling racing there, kazuma -kun. Come back for another race soon. So I assume that the shop has now added some new stuff. Let's go check that out. Uh, no, it doesn't look like they have added any new things. That surprises me. Have a nice day. Maybe I need to leave and then come back in. Maybe that triggers it. Let's give that a quick whirl. Hmm. 
no, no change there. Okay, in which case maybe the setup I've got will also be able to win us the next race. I'm willing to give it a try. It's only 500 yen to find out, I suppose. Let's go for the rookies race. So let's customize our car. What have we got on here? I suppose I just want to enter with the same thing and see what happens. I mean, this looks like a longer race, so maybe I want... Maybe the high-speed battery is going to wear out. I mean, my total cost for the car at the moment is 20, which is quite close to the cost limit. Let's just enter it with what we've currently got and see what happens. This course knocks racers right off the track. Everyone's taken precautions, right? The challenge of this course is the sharp curb. Let your guard down and you'll fly right off. I have a feeling this is going to go badly, but you know, I'll learn a lesson. This rival has an 80% victory rate in pocket circuit. This will be one tough opponent, no doubt. Our remarkable Kazuma Kun is in the yellow lane. Everyone to their places. Okay, again, I've gotten a really good start, but yeah, I think the battery's going to run low over the length of the race. Here's the start. Oh, tap beat quickly. Okay, got that. Do it again. Oh, but that gauge in the top left is going down, which means that on the next sharp corner, I'm going to fly off because I'm going to run out of stabilizage. Oh, no, no, it's okay. And do I have two boosts available? It's hard to say. I'm going to use a boost when I get onto the, uh, onto the straight. Here. I hope I don't regret this. Tap big quickly. Oh, the gauge is going down. I'm done for. Oh, shouldn't have boosted. I probably would have won if I hadn't boosted. Retired. Out of lane. Uh, no, I don't want to replay. That's not what I meant. I meant we try. Don't blame the car, Kiryu. I'm going to give that race one more go, and this time I'm not going to boost. So let's... Let's see what we've got. So I've put the slim tires on. Less ground friction makes for higher speeds. So maybe if I go for slick tires, I'll get better cornering. Good for circuits with jumps. We don't have jumps. Hmm. Now that'll, that'll slow us down a little bit. But that might help us on the corners, which we do need. So I'm going to try swapping to that tentatively. Improves cornering speed at the cost of stability. Oh, I definitely don't want that. Or do I? No, I don't, I don't want even less stability. I need to stick with this. Um, high torque motor, acceleration and slopes, balance motor. I mean, this is kind of the cost of five is pretty important there. Optimize for power, a bit balanced. Good for short races. I never even got to the end of it, but let's, let's go for the regular battery. Let's try the race with this. I don't... See, I've, I've lowered my total cost to 19, so... Mm. I feel like now I've swapped out my motor, I'm just not going to be ahead. Okay, well, I'm, I'm keeping pace with them. Let's use a bit of boost. Let's stabilize. Oh, that was close. I'm going to be screwed on the next one, though. Okay, it's fine. We got around the corner safely that time. So as long as I don't use the boost again, I might be all right. Yeah, I really don't want to have to stabilize on those corners again. It's a 12 lap race. That's a heck of a long one. I might use the boost on the last lap if that gauge, if that stabilization gauge is filled back up. But for now, I think let's just, let's just ride this. We've got a really nice long lead. Um... So are they catching me? I don't think so. Mm, might be, actually. Yeah, they might be catching me. Yeah, they definitely are. Okay, let's use the boost here. And brace to stabilize. Oh, didn't need to stabilize. Okay. Still four more laps to go. They might. I might not win this one. I might get caught by the end of it. I've got a decent lead at the moment. 
but I've got no more boost available. I do have lots in that gauge in the top left, so maybe I could have gotten away with being a little bit more dangerous on the corners. But only a little. Ah, uh, he's closing too fast, and I've got to hold out for quite a few more laps. Yeah, I'm going to lose it. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get lapped out, but... I think I maybe need to see if I can get a battery that's got a longer capacity. Because I'm definitely fading as the race goes on. Well, I finished. That's something. You're in good form again today. Thanks. Hey, fighter. Huh? Oh, it's you, Takuma. What's up? Are you really a virgin? It's a bit of a rude question. Ha <laughs> ha, now that's a tricky word for someone your age. I'm impressed. But no more saying words you don't know the meaning of, okay? Promise me. Mm. Fighter seems pretty good at dealing with kids. But I know what it means. It's when you've never gone out with a girl before. Uh, not exactly, but close enough, I guess. Anyway, where'd you hear that word? From Hideki-kun. Hey, Hideki-kun. What, Takuma-kun? So you're the one stirring things up, huh, Hideki-kun? You should know better than to use language like that. But my mom said anyone spending so much time with Pocket Circuit at your rate has got to be a virgin. That's very unkind of your mother to say. Anyway, she's wrong. Virgin, virgin. No, I'm not. Virgin, virgin. The poor guy looks pretty miserable. I need to clear this mess up or we'll never get back in the pocket to circuit racing. Let's reprimand the kids. Hey, you guys shouldn't bully fighter like that. What? How are we bullying him? We're just telling the truth. Listen, calling people a virgin can hurt their feelings. You wouldn't want people saying mean things about you, would you, Hideki-kun? I guess not. Sorry we made fun of you, fighter. Yeah, we're sorry. Oh, no problem. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just glad you understand. Okay, now that's cleared up, let's all get back to pocket circuit. All right! Because that's what we're really here for, isn't it? Thanks for that, Kazuma-kun. Yeah. Don't mention it. Keep your chin up, huh? Kazuma-kun? I know you defended me, but what the kids said about me, it's true. Oh, I see. Well, happens at different times for everyone. It's not like it's a race or anything. I'll be 30 next year. Oh, getting up there, huh? Yeah, you can only call yourself a late bloomer so long. All this time and I've never even held a, held a girl's hand. It's pretty shameful. Still, I guess that's what I get for being the pocket circuit fighter at this age. No wonder the kids tease me. Hey, you have plenty to be proud of. Huh? Your talent is being able to see things from a kid's perspective and enjoy the same things they do. Not everyone can do that. I think you're fine just the way you are, fighter. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Kazuma-kun. Ha, <laughs> this won't do. I need to pull myself together. I feel a lot better now thanks to you, Kazuma-kun. I'm done feeling sorry for myself. Uh. Good. Hang in there, fighter. Thanks. Come back for another race sometime. I look forward to seeing how you do. Oh, God damn it, is the game kicking me outdoors again? Okay, I'm just really, really quickly going to check the shop to see if there's anything new in stock. Because we definitely need some new gear in order to win that race. Hey, hey, Kazuma-kun. Oh, kids again. Hmm? Oh, he's one of the pocket circuit kids. Takuma, I think. Ah, that's right. The fighter was saying everyone here refers to each other informally, with Kun and Chan. Being called Kun by a little kid is kind of annoying, but when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I'll get over it. What's up? Your, uh, Takuma? Kun, right? Yep. Kazuma Kun, you only started pocket circuit a little while ago, right? Just like me. I just got started too. Is that so? What made you get into Pocket Circuit? Um, it's because my best friend started playing. Oh, cool. You wanted to play together? So, how's it going? Are you having fun with your buddy? 
actually. We don't talk very much anymore. He used to teach me all sorts of things before, but now... Huh, that's too bad. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my car's slow. He must think I'm a loser. Kazuma-kun, what do you think? Well, I don't know your friend, but I don't think he'd stop being friendly because your car happens to be slow. Besides, pocket circuit racers improve themselves through competition. They race, learn what they need to do to win, and customise their cars to get there. That's the fun part. Think so? I wish I could play with him again like before. I know. Hey, Kazuma-kun. Hmm? What is it? Let's race. You and me. With you? Yep. I want to get faster. Please race me. Please. You said I'll get faster by competing. So compete with me. He wants to race, huh? Do I accept? Yeah, go on then. Challenge accepted. Sure, challenge accepted. But this race is the real deal. Don't expect any mercy. I'm not going to hold back either, Kazuma-kun. Okay, we have the simple circuit. Right. What's going to be the right setup for this? I stick with the slick tyres. Bounce frames fine. Let's go with the high torque motor. I like the high torque motor. Gears balanced. Battery high speed for the win. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Uh, skip all the burbles. Let's get to the race. Off to an excellent start. And we might lap this kid out quite quickly. That was almost embarrassing. I feel a bit bad. Everyone's customizations are shining, he says. There's only one person left in the race, you know. Whose customization is shining? Thank you for the exciting race. Was it exciting or was it a bit one sided? Ah, <laughs> I lost. Sorry, Kazuma kun. I bet that was boring for you. It's no fun racing against a slowpoke like me. I bet Hideki kun thinks so too. Yeah. I didn't think so. You made me go all out. Huh? I think it's true that you have room for improvement, but you really drive gutsy. I like your style. Really? Uh. Yeah. I bet your friend doesn't think racing against you is boring either. Maybe there's another reason why he's avoiding you. Do you think so? Yeah. It has to be something else. You should work up a little courage and just ask him directly. Mm. You're right, Kazuma-kun. I'll go ask Hideki-kun. It's a little scary, though. Your buddy's name is Hideki-kun? Yep, he's way faster than me. But I bet you could do just as good as him, Kazuma-kun. Oh, yeah. Kazuma-kun, you can have this. It's a decal. Oh, boy. You got the blue bolt. A decal. Yep, you can change your pocket circuit car's design with it. It's pretty cool. Oh, all right. I forgot about these sticker things. I'll try it out later. Thanks, little dude. Yep. See ya, Kazuma-kun. I'm going to the children's park. That's where Hideki-kun usually hangs out. Sure. You do that. Oh, yeah. Kazuma-kun, thank you for everything. Racing with you made me feel better about Hideki-kun. Let's race again sometime. Bye! The children's park, huh? Maybe I'll drop by later. See, I only actually came back in here just because I wanted to check the shop to see if anything new was in stock. I'm going to be disappointed, aren't I? They're selling slot car parts here, shop for parts. Welcome, this is what we have in stock. Yeah, that's all the same stuff it was before. Nice day, yeah, you too, fine. Let's, um, let's head out of this place and let's end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the racing and all the rest of the stuff. Bye-bye.